Good morning, YouTube. Looking out of my Berrettini. This has become the pipe that I, um, I used to try my new tobaccos, samples that come in and everything. And what I have in it is Aaron Moore this morning. So, <clears throat> first impression of Aaron Moore. Uh, Indy, Indy Piper, I believe, she was talking about, um, the, the bowl size, the, what the, what the pipe is made out of, um, this is a, a pretty small bowl. Um, the, the first thing I notice about it is that it does have retro hail burn. But with all that aside, I know that it's a, I'm going to say medium to mild, or mild to medium uh, strength tobacco, and I know it's Cavendish and sweetened bright Virginias. I don't really know. Um, room note. I don't usually do room notes, but I'm going to start again. Tolerable. Paste. Um, if there's, it, it's an aromatic, but it doesn't really seem like it out of a Barrettini, so I'm gonna have to try it again out of a different pipe. But I did put it in the Barrettini, so I'm gonna base it off of this, and then I'll base it off of um, maybe a cob and probably um, uh. Oh, uh, shoot, probably a briar. Probably my pad of the pipe briar, not the church warden. Tolerable or no? Strength, medium, mild, um, except for uh, the nose burn. I can feel it a little, a little on my tongue, but not bad. <clears throat> but what it is is barely, I mean, barely a fruit, a fruity type taste to it. I mean, and it is barely there, and it's not. It's more that, yeah, it's like a light, <coughs> excuse me, it's like a light, um, fruity pebbles, real, real light, um, more, more earthy type tobacco than anything, but the room note is definitely, um, you can tell, you can tell that it's a, a slight aromatic I know it's an aromatic, but I would consider it slight if somebody else was smoking it. And I was like, you know, I was an onlooker, and the, if I could smell it, I'd say, you know, a little light aromatic on you. But other than that, let's see. 
paste room note three three and a half strength mild to medium flavor I usually don't go for the real real earthy types of uh, tobacco but this has definitely got got a little in it like if you were smoking <clears throat> just like if you were smoking outside um, you know how when you can walk outside and some it's just cut grass and you smell it I'm not saying this is like that but just as a point of comparison um, you walk outside and it had Maybe just rained the day before and it's coming back. Or you can still smell it a little. That's how the taste of uh, the flavor is for me. Um, like I say, I will try it in a different pipe and see what it changes. Well, I mean, if it changes any at all for me. But, um,. I just decided to go ahead and do a, a first impressions uh, tobacco review this morning because uh, up a little bit late and it's going to take a while to upload. Okay, the slight tongue bite has gone away. The nose burn has gotten stronger right in here. The flavor has not changed. And usually you can tell. You can tell if it's going to um, just uh, not even a third into it. You can tell if it's going to change into the ashtray type play. But it, um, it doesn't seem like it's going to do that. I'm sorry if I'm quiet uh, today. Um, Missy's home from work. She's not feeling well. Uh, it's in the mid 90s yesterday, and we didn't have our air conditioner on. We weren't prepared for it. Um, it's on now. It's on now, and uh, we weren't prepared for it. We had our windows open and for the longest time we had our thermostats set on 60 and the heater didn't even come on so we just wrap up in blankets and stuff and then all of a sudden they throw these 90s at us and it's going to take a little getting used to but I work in the water so well most of the day. Anyway, what did I do with that? Let's see. I'm just gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna set her down for a second. Here, more. Just a little. Um, and also, for those of you who took the trip with me through my cellar, if there's anything in there and I have enough of it, um, and you'd like to try. Uh, except for my, my unopened tin, uh, give me a shout, and I will, uh, see what I can do for you. Um, just watch the video, I go through every tobacco that I've gone, that I've gotten in there. It was twice that big until I thinned it out, and if you watch the Island Piper video, I sent him a bunch. I sent some some uh, to um, smoking grandpa bones or bones and then um, I sent some I mean I I have some to send to happy smoking some arrows but 
I would say out of the tin, but out of the baggie, Aaron Moore does have a very pleasant, a very pleasant smell. Um, it doesn't smell earthy out of here. It smells like a regular blend with a little bit of Fruit Loops mixed in, and not much. I mean, you barely catch it if if you don't know what you're smelling for. I guess it's the sweetened, the sweetened, bright Virginia that did it. Put that little bit of fruit type flavor in it, but. I've been dropping stuff like crazy here in the last couple of days. On my seller video, I had to cut it short because I told you it was kind of leaning. On my new uh, Galaxy S5, it has, I can pull it in and cut it. I can cut little pieces out of it if I want to. I can edit it all on the software that I recorded on. But anyway. My impressions of Aaron Moore. <clears throat> earthy, it's that earthy type of smoke. Um, slight, slight to almost none uh, fruity flavor. And um, if I were to smoke it again, I would save it. I would save it for an after lunch. And, Unless you're into that really, really strong stuff after lunch, but <clears throat> it's definitely, it, it would hold its own after a, a small lunch. Not going to be an everyday smoke. Um, I may, I may order a tin of it just to have, um, because the earthy the earthiness to it isn't too strong either i mean it it's the main it's the main part of it but you still get that there's that little bit of fruit but uh, the earthiness is the main part of it and that's what would give me a good afternoon smoke uh but i'd do it outside just so i could sit back and enjoy it down by the river or i haven't done a video down by the river in a while But anyway, I've gone way too long for a first impressions video. But, uh, Aramore, if it sounds good to you, um, it's definitely worth a try. Um, I wouldn't, at 10, 10 wise, 50 gram at the most, I wouldn't do any more than that. And if you don't like it, then, um, trade. Trade it off or do uh, a giveaway. A 110 giveaway, that doesn't, I mean, that's nothing. Everybody would be pleased to get a tin of it just to try, pass it around for samples or, or whatever. Um, but yeah, like I said, go through my seller video. If there's anything in there that's opened, um, my Frog Morton Cellar tin, I believe I said it was closed, but it's not. Um, it's open. And I think the only thing that's not is that one of Multi Dolce, the Anniversary Cake from Hearth and Home, Old Dark Fired, Blue Mountain, and the Christmas Cheer are, are not open. But anything else. I'd be happy to send you some if I have enough. If not, I'll just send you a small sample. But um, that has got to be it for me because we are going on 14 and a half minutes. So. Pipe smokers do. Hey. It's getting better. Cinnamon. It changed on me. Kind of a, a much a light, lighter, lighter smoke. I'm sorry. Sorry I got into it. Uh, a much lighter smoke halfway through. But anyway, pipe smokers too. Wishing everybody smooth smokes. Here and more folks. Peace out YouTube. Have a good work week.